As pilots, one of the best tools we can use to stay sharp and review procedures when we are not flying is a flight simulator. And uh, nowadays there are two flight simulators that are the undisputed leaders in this space, X-Plane and the Microsoft Flight Simulator. In general terms, uh, one focuses more on physics and realism, while the other uh, focuses more on delivering an amazing visual experience. That said, both simulators require good hardware in order to function at their best, and sometimes that might be very expensive. So today I will share with you a cheap cloud service that I use from time to time. This service is called Paperspace, and it's just a fantastic cloud service that can be used on an hourly basis and the cost varies based on the machine that you choose however for the two flight simulators in question you are likely to spend between five and seven dollars a month for storage and 40 to 80 cents per hour for the machine with that being said if you use the link in the comments you get a ten dollars free credit and you can try the service for free so let me show you how to set up uh, your machine. First, we will need to uh, download and install Parsec so that we can later connect to our uh, gaming machine in the cloud. Next, we can go to paperspace.com. Make sure to use the link in the comments to get the discount. Here, we can uh, click on core and then create a machine. After that, we have to choose a region. Pick the region closest to your own region in order to have a uh, low latency. I'll choose Amsterdam. For the OS, go to public templates and choose Parsec. Then select any of the 4,000 or 5,000 machines to have a good experience or the P6000 if you're planning on playing the Microsoft Flight Simulator at the absolute maximum settings. For this demo, I'll choose the RTX 4000. Storage, uh, depending on the number of sceneries, aircrafts and plugins you intend to use, uh, you will need more or less storage. I'll go for the 100 gigabytes since it's more than enough for X-Plane 11. Then you can change the following options as you wish and click create your paper space. Perfect. Let's access our new gaming machine and log into Parsec. Now, if we go back to the Parsec app on our local machine, we should see our new gaming machine. So let's press connect to our local Parsec. At this point, we only need two things, to set up virtual here in order to use our joystick and then to install our favorite flight simulator. Once that's done, we can launch our flight simulator and have some fun.